I had 46 injuries, 16 surgeries, um, was in the hospital for three months, was on blood dialysis, um, collapsed my lungs, um, was in pretty rough shape. Shane Gozi recounting his life following a terrible crash on his motorcycle four years ago this month. Doctors say it was a miracle he even made it through the night. While he survived, for Gozi's mother, Angela Thacker, she says it's been hard to watch her son suffer as he's been left paralyzed from the waist down. There was many injuries and he was on dialysis and, you know, he was um, on a ventilator and so, yes, it was a very tough time. But at Ohio Health's Rehabilitation Services Center in Circleville, Shane is learning how to put one foot in front of the other again. With some help from this exobionics robotic exoskeleton. And before this opportunity, he was using a wheelchair 100% um, of the time. And, and he had some large leg braces that we were walking with and doing some short distance walking. but. Um, really, this is the first opportunity that he's had to do this type of walking since he had his injury. He's one of fewer than 100 people in the entire country approved to use this device at home, a testament to his determination and the power of innovation in physical therapy. A bunch of us here and he, watching him walk in it the first time was just overwhelming. There were so many tears and um, it was just exciting and just just beyond words, really. Just the other day, me and my dad was outside walking and my little dog was just following me around barking. My dog has never seen me walk in four years. My little dog has just seen me in a wheelchair. My dog seen me walk the other day. My dog's never, you know what I mean? It's just that alone is just in itself is amazing. So. The, the freedom, the capabilities, you know, me outside walking on the asphalt and the concrete, just the freedoms, the capabilities, the, the healing aspect of it. The technology is reimbursed through Medicare, taking the burden off of patients like Shane. He works closely with his physical therapy team, training with the exoskeleton several times a week. And so after he did the initial trial, he did have a training period here with us in therapy to basically teach him how to um, take it on and off, how to use it safely, how to be ready to take it home and be independent. And so it was him, both him and his mom and dad uh, went through training procedure here to make sure they're safe to use it at home. For Shane and his loved ones, the access to this kind of advanced rehab technology close to home has made all the difference. Just me alone, I've taken over 2,500 steps in three months. I never thought that I could do that again. That, that alone in itself, the freedom. Doing good. An inspiring reminder of how far rehabilitation technology has come as Shane continues to make strides amid adversity. My ultimate goal would be to walk down Cincinnati Boulevard once again, to be able to stand in the Bengals Stadium again. So I have aspirations with this thing. I'm proud of him. I'm very proud of him. So proud of him. Bye. <laughs> On your side in Circleville, Aaron Simonek, ABC6 News.